Let's just open the this. Okay, hi guys. Uh, are we live now? Can you hear us? Is everything good? Uh, just let us know if you can see us and hear us. All right, let's just see. What brought you into oh. the ER today? Okay. I'm 31 weeks. Okay, sorry. Yeah, guys, uh, I think yeah. we are live now. Uh, okay, hi guys. Uh, I hope uh, you can see us and hear us. Uh, so I just I came back after uh, giving slot 3. Sai took uh, slot 1. So we'll be discussing mostly with uh, respect to slot 1 and slot uh, 3. I think the analysis for slot 2 is also fairly similar because whatever we have been talking to with our students, we are getting the same impression that uh, uh, across all the three slots, there is consistency of difficulty level with respect to each of the three sections. Yeah. Uh, so what I would say, uh, so for, I start with slot 1. Uh, initially, when I came out of the exam, I didn't want to actually talk about it because it was a shock because Quant was much tougher than I had had in like many, many uh, years giving CAD. Uh, I'll tell you there are two aspects to it. One part of the aspect is uh, the quant level was much tougher. It is like say 20, 30% tougher than what you normally expect. Now there would be some key people who would recalibrate, who would reassess and then adjust accordingly. And there were some people, unfortunately, like me who panicked. And unfortunately, I solved only I saw nine questions of which I know one is wrong. So uh, eight questions of which we don't know how many are correct or not. So over here, I know that uh, partly this was completely because of panic. Because when I saw I had solved eight questions, there were 13 minutes left. And I completely panicked and I didn't solve any question correctly after that. So uh, over here, if uh, I had really realized that this was a low scoring uh, section and I had accepted that, it would have had a different... Uh, uh, like I would have followed a different path as such because essentially it's like uh, a low scoring pitch you have to adjust and if you try to hit out on a low scoring pitch you're going to get out with on a much lower score so it was just that so the people who panicked would have much lower scores the people who held their nerve would have uh, not great scores it would still be on in 20s and all uh, or 20s to 30s and those who panicked would have much lower scores. So over here, clearly, the cutoffs would be much lower in quant. The overall cutoff would also be 10 to 15, uh, uh, 10 to 15 marks lower. So I will just uh, mention slot 1 vis-a-vis -vis last year, yeah. where I thought each uh, part of slot 1 was. Uh, in VARC, um, I felt the passages were... There was one passage... Yeah, somebody is saying, uh, are you able to hear us, guys? Because somebody told us that audio is not coming. Are you able to hear us? Just message in the chat. Somebody is asking, uh, are you talking about this year's? Uh, okay, somebody is saying uh, it's working fine. Okay, yeah, thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah, so basically, uh, this year's, uh, I'm just comparing this year's first slot with uh, slot uh, 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 with uh, last year's CAT. So what I feel was, let's go section by section for VARC. I One feel... second. Somebody is asking whether you are talking about this year's uh, slot or the first time you took CAT. <laughs> no, no. This year's slot, that was also similar where I panicked. I have told that story before, but I have not learned my lesson. So I was given the lesson again. Uh, so again, I panicked this time and I didn't uh, score well. Uh, but essentially, this is the same idea that uh, irrespective of how much you know, how much you have practiced, if you are able to hold your nerve, you will do much better. And uh, unfortunately, today was not the day in which I held my nerve. Priyanshu, uh, she is talking about slot one. Uh, she took slot one. So yeah. Yeah, so let us uh, go section by section for VARC. I feel RC was on par with last year's. Uh, there was one RC which I felt was tricky, which was the Indian Ocean RC. The other one, which was a persuasive RC, which was about geography and non-geographical explanations for behavior, I felt was more straightforward because persuasive RCs in general are far more straightforward. Uh, then there was one RC which was on uh, 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 like uh, uh, work culture and... Uh, on wolves, both of them, I think, were on the easier to moderate side. So, in general, I think RC was at par with last year, with just one RC, which was slightly tricky. VA, I think, was easier than last year. So, because I felt VA was uh, the number of, uh, like in para summary also, there were some options which were obviously incorrect. So, because of that, I feel VA would be on the higher scoring side than uh, last year. Overall, I feel VARC for slot one would be a bit high scoring part. Uh, I don't think, uh, I think the uh, 
cutoffs would be at par with slot 3 last year if you remember slot 3 last year was a high scoring slot in uh, vrc and i think this would be the case even this year in slot 1 uh, vrc would be a high scoring slot i know a lot of people found the rcs to be lengthy to read to take time to read but they were once you read them they were straightforward in answering once you understood them they were straightforward in answering other than the indian ocean uh, rc as such the va particularly would have be scoring uh, for many it would be scoring so i believe that would be higher same as last year slot 3 so you can compare with slot 3 cutoffs uh, the lrdi section there were two doable sets a lot of people were uh, cribbing about uh, not finding any good set as such i feel all of them were moderate difficulty level to uh, easy uh, like moderate difficulty level there was no easy set as such there was no set that you could solve in 10 minutes each one would take 15 to 20 minutes as such but once you prepare yourself that i'm going to spend 15 to 20 minutes to solve this set there were two sets which were doable i solved the houses set which was actually under 15 minutes set it looked formidable it looked very difficult but it was not difficult once you started solving it once you saw many key elements on it that set could be solved in under 15 minutes because then things became much simpler once you started actually solving things became suddenly simpler similarly the set which was for restaurants and rating it looked formidable it looked difficult if you knew the under, if you knew what is median mode as such it was not difficult as such so both of these sets i feel were uh, doable the ish, i believe the cutoffs for dilr in slot 1 would be lower primarily because there was no di set as such there were no pure di sets because there were no pure di sets there were only lr sets a lot of people struggled because people banked on that one di set to actually have at least one set which they could do and that was that option was only not there everything had lr to it so because of that i would think that it would be slightly lower but there were two moderate doable lr sets as such so i don't think it would be much lower quant would be much lower clearly i struggled but even if i had not panicked i believe i would have scored or i would have solved up to 11 to 12 questions which was much lower than the 16 questions i generally solve so if i take a look at my last 3 years attempts i generally solve 16 to 18 questions in quant if i had not panicked i panicked so it was lower but even if i had not panicked i think i would have solved around 12 questions but even then i feel it would be 10 marks lower so 10 marks lower in quant slightly lower in vrc and at par in, uh, sorry at par in vrc slightly lower in dilr so i think in general over here you should look at at least 10 to 20 marks lesser in cutoffs for uh, slot 1 as such and i think this is true across the board okay uh, with respect to slot 3 uh, overall i felt uh, vrc was uh, definitely not very difficult i think it is moderate level difficult uh, there was uh, there were two rcs which i found to be like slightly boring there was one rc on uh, archaeology some cultural artifacts that I think was an easy RC, fairly straightforward questions. There was one RC on uh, rational, some aesthetics, romantic aesthetics, very boring, very boring set. There was another set I don't remember. Uh, again, a very boring set. I lost uh, concentration in the middle. But overall, I felt uh, if I put in effort, if I was able to like uh, motivate myself, the RCs, the questions were not very, very difficult. They were slightly difficult, but I think it was okay. In verbal... Uh, especially in para completion, I think there were one or two questions which were uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, suddenly, oops made a comeback, like all of you know. Oops, and uh, the verbal section also, I think, was moderate. Overall, I think this uh, difficulty was as last year. There was nothing which was surprising or shocking. Some marches were easy, some marches were difficult. So, I think the cutoffs would be very similar to what was there last year. With respect to LRDI, I think there were four sets. There was one set in roots, which was a very easy set. Unfortunately, I didn't attempt it uh, till the very end. <clears throat> in the last few minutes, I saw it and I realized it was very easy. But normally it looked tough because it had a diagram and all. So I thought maybe it will be very difficult with a lot of cases. So I came to it last. Uh, but LRDA, this time I feel uh, there is no set which is like a time sink. Many times you will get an LRDA where if you start attempting it, you get stuck. I think all the four sets this time, if you just focus on solving two sets, you pick any two sets and you spend 40 minutes, you will get the two sets correct. Any good student, anybody who is aiming for say 99 percentile, picks any two sets and spends 40 minutes, that is 20 minutes per set, they will get any of the four sets correct. So there was no time sink, there was no nightmare kind of a set. There was, I think, that AC set, which was slightly difficult, uh, slightly more complex, lot of variables involved. But uh, all of them, you have to just enter into the table. If you draw the, if you write the table and you spend 15, 20 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, you'll get that set correct. So LRDI, I feel, is definitely slightly easier than last year. Because last year, I think there were some sets where a lot of logic was involved. Here I felt uh, 
the logic part was not very much involved it is just that there are a lot of values and so probably uh, you might uh, take some more time they are slightly lengthy but i'm fine with that in lrdi as long as i don't get stuck in any set i'm happy and here i felt uh, anybody who is spending 20 minutes per set they'll get a, uh, all the sets correct with respect to quant i think this was the toughest uh, quant section uh, in the last 7 8 years uh, since we started krako i think this is the toughest uh, quant section Yeah, quant exam i've never seen uh, any any time where quant was so basically it was two fold one was algebra was much more and secondly arithmetic was uh, very difficult so after solving five six algebra questions i was like let me find some good arithmetic questions i actually went down in the further this find arithmetic questions but when i found arithmetic questions i found out they were very difficult so it was a two fold or uh, two way punch algebra was there a lot of algebra was there and arithmetic was very difficult and arithmetic was mostly theta so that also was like a that added to the this compounded the difficulty of the uh, section as such so for me in slot 3 initially it started off with algebra questions which were very lengthy very lengthy questions and each one was taking me a lot of time normally that kind of questions in a normal uh, year uh, out of 22 i get say two or three questions where i had to spend a lot of time but here every question was taking me a lot of time so i felt there was no way i was going to get uh, all the 22 correct still uh, then i started making some educated guesses but after the first 10 questions i think arithmetic at least in slot 3 was not very difficult i think algebra was definitely difficult but there were some questions which were easy questions i think that probably was not the case in slot 1 or slot 2 but in slot 3 if you get past the initial uh, lengthy questions in algebra i think in the middle some of the arithmetic questions were definitely doable so if somebody is not demotivated after the first 10 to 12 questions where all of them seemed very very difficult there were definitely some fairly straightforward fairly easy questions maybe three or four such questions uh, in the middle so the point is that if somebody is not demoralized and is still open and checking questions they will find those easy questions so that is uh, but again i don't think many students would be like that many students i think would be fairly demoralized by looking at the first 10 15 questions 10 to 12 questions which are very lengthy overall i would say quant is definitely much difficult as compared to last year as compared to any of the recent years so i would expect the cutoffs to be much lesser than last time i don't know i don't remember how much the 99 percentile was in quant last year Around if i'm 40, not wrong yeah 40 45 now i don't think it was 40 i don't know i don't remember i think it was 34 also but i'll have to look at it uh but i'm sure the i think it was 34 last time quant uh, roughly 99 percentile if it was 34 it will be at least three questions lesser that is at least uh, nine marks lesser this is quant 99 percentile but uh, anyway uh, what i would want you to do is uh, if you your exam has gone well that's fantastic maybe take a day to celebrate if your exam hasn't gone well then also it's fine maybe take a day to recuperate but uh, zat is still coming zat is just uh, oh it's just one and a half month away less than that and zat is a completely uh, new exam it's an open slate whatever has happened in cat has no implications on zat so give it your best shot spend this uh, one and a half month to make the best use of it and do well in zat yeah and moreover i want, don't want you guys to get demotivated by the exam this exam was very difficult it was not just difficult for you but for many people so a lot of people are demotivated today so don't be demotivated because the exam was tougher the cutoffs will be lower so do not write off that okay this year is gone or something like that there's like no point uh, to that uh, just think uh, take a day's rest recuperate focus on the remaining exams a lot of people would have exact coming up nmat coming up snap coming up focus on those exams the quant there is definitely much easier it is much more doable and it's a fresh chance so give the fresh chance with if uh, like all the effort that you have as such uh, if you have a lot of options that is actually good when you are actually preparing for your interviews or whatever happens so do not uh, get demotivated by today's day because uh, uh, this is one exam there are many exams to come up you have to keep your motivation levels up for the remaining exams also Okay guys uh, that's it for uh, now uh, we'll again catch you once the response sheets or something comes out yeah one more people uh, people were asking that we put slot to the dilr was easy and it was not it was easy, moderate uh, difficulty level and uh, the quant also in slot 2 was also difficult quant in all three slots was difficult so uh, in all three slots we expect cutoffs for both dilr and uh, uh, quant to be lower uh, like want to be lower by 10 marks from what you expect last year 
and 10 10 to 15 marks uh, from your, what you expect last year and now even here it would be lower as such so uh, it was not easy so if that was there in that uh, image just uh, we uh, it was not easy in uh, both dilr and quant was not easy in either of the three slots so at least you have consistency across slots in the fact that they were equally hard and somebody was asking my attempt so basically when i take uh, quant section every year normally i finish all the 22 questions and i have say 2 3 minutes to spare and i don't even like uh, have to really put a lot of effort lot of intensity uh, and the mistakes uh, normally if i don't get full it is because i made some silly mistake in some calculation or something this time i was nowhere close to solving all the 22 questions because i was just not getting the, it, the each question was very lengthy so after some time i think after 20 minutes or so i realized that okay there is no way i was coming close to solving the 22 questions so i started making some educated guesses where i felt okay looking at the question i know that it is not c and d it has to be a and b now let me try to figure out whether it is a or b so i was making some heuristics i was making some uh, rough estimates and then i'm marking a and going forward because it was just impossible i feel for anybody to solve uh, all the 22 questions in 40 minutes probably if uh, i was given 60 minutes then probably i can solve all of them comfortably so that i think was the level of difficulty so if you if your quant hasn't gone well don't feel uh, too bad I think 85 percentile. If you are getting five or six questions correct, you have a good chance of clearing 85 percentile. 85? No, it's more. I think five mm-hmm. six would be 95 percentile easy. So don't worry. Uh, I feel uh, the quant was very very difficult, extremely difficult. I am very surprised. I think maybe they wanted to set a. I don't know what they thought. Maybe they wanted to make it more difficult, but I think they made it extremely difficult. So I don't know. Let us see once the response sheet comes and uh, seeing how people have done, then we'll get a better idea. But I feel it was very difficult. my overall attempt i was quite happy with my attempts in uh, verbal and lrd i think both the sections i did well but quant was very very difficult i did okay uh, let us see once let the response sheet come and then we will see okay thank okay. you okay so thank you guys thank you for tuning in